One of the best things about the Raspberry Pi is that you can plug things into it and then write programs to control or sense the environment. This is possible because of the GPIO, or General Purpose Input Output Pins, on the Pi. In this tutorial, we're going to control a traffic light using Python. There are two different naming systems for the Pi, so the diagrams can be a little confusing. This diagram shows both. This row is referred to as board, and this row Broadcom, or BCM. A close look at the light, and you can see they're marked ground 11, 9, and 10. Since it's marked with the BCM scheme, that's what we use in our code. In Turbo Tinker 11, we installed VS Code on the Pi. I'm going to remote in using VNC and open a new file. First, we'll import the libraries we'll need. Turn off warnings. We'll set up a variable for each color. We'll set the numbering scheme to BCM. We need to set the direction to out since we're sending a signal out to the lights. Setting the signal to false will turn the lights off. We'll turn the green one on, then wait three seconds. Then we'll turn the green off and yellow on. Then we'll turn yellow off and red on. Save your script as traffic-light.py and open the terminal by typing control backtick. It's under the tilde. Then change to the directory that contains your script. Type sudo python traffic-light.py to see your program work. Next we'll replace this traffic light with another one. This one has the pins marked as ground, red, yellow, and green. This device really shouldn't care which pins we use, only where it's sending the signal. Let's use the same pin so we don't have to change the code. Black is ground, 11 is green, 9 is red, and 10 is yellow. Control C to stop the program, up arrow to get the last run command, run our code again, and it works just the same.